hello everyone it's me asmr welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorials and today i'll show you the way how to make the book cover with the photoshop and it's a conceptual photoshop uh, poster or book cover making which is really good and uh, the mirror which is the uh, title the mirror uh, and i'll show you how to make this book cover design so let's go to the file and taking a new artboard which is uh, uh, the size the 5.5 and 8.5 and select this one giving the name which is the book cover book cover and hit the create button and you can choose the color uh, mode which is the cmyk or rgb or grayscale and i am choosing here the rgb mode and uh, hit the create button you are getting the artboard which is a white color and after that unlock this one by pressing over here the lock button and taking new options going to the solid color or take the new layer and going to the fill options from here 50 percent gray and hit ok you can taking the gray and you have another way to take the gray color by going to the adjustment layer and solid color and you can take the gray color like this and hit ok uh, in this portion or in this way you can take any color any time by using this and after using that uh, you are getting the benefits of these options go to the place embedded options from here taking the the picture which is the portrait picture i downloaded from fibpick.com and provided the download link and place this one and after placing this one you can adjust the photo by pressing shift and hold it and uh, after using that just fit with the artboard by using the border lines and after that right place resize the layer and press ctrl t and make it flip horizontal or 180 degree rotation which is the uh, theme the mirror that's why i made it like this and after that taking the ruler by pressing uh, ctrl or command r if in case it not appearing press ctrl or command r and ruler will appear and make the middle of the ruler and after selecting this layer giving the name the girl and after adding that going to the rectangular marquee tool or uh, the color the layer name will be help you out to find in a future so rectangular marquee tool and select this one after that press ctrl command j and this layer will be the left and after that select the main girl layer and select again and press ctrl command j for the right portion so we are making two layers which is the left and light right and uh, it will help me out to make the effect over there select the left options and make the opposite down 80 or 90 percent or 70 percent that's good the color will be like this and after selecting this one uh, i'll make it the mirror by pressing um, the blur options the, the theory or the theme is that in a mirror real time you are getting the blurry options so going to the filter uh, actually over there and going to the blur options and motion blur the setting will be like this the uh, angle will be 90 degree and 26 pixel in the dense and then you are getting the motion blur like this and hit ok so after getting that you are getting the mirror will be like this so now uh, we will go to the adjustment layer and taking the gradient options so select the gradient perfect one i'll make it white color by using over here and hit ok and make it reverse after making it reverse you can write down the name over there and hit ok so you're getting the, the portion which is the gradient portion and uh, left and right right and left and now i'll make the color increase by pressing the camera filter from here going to the temperature up a little bit and tint exposure contrast and after hit ok you're getting the temperature or the color pop up and it will help me out to more relevant like this so left 
this portion and right portion okay now going to the text tool by pressing t and write down something the name which is really uh, catchy that is the mirror the color code is 1d and hit ok now i'll make it up the font size and making in a place over there double click over there write down the the mirror okay uh, after writing over there i'll just take it in a middle by pressing here press ctrl or command j over there and rotation like this and flip horizontal and i'll match it up with the font or the write up according to this that means flip horizontal that's fine now i'll make the upper side in a motion blur so make the down arrow key by okay after that the upside and downside now giving the name up and uh, the down select this one the upside and select uh, this one the black color or like lips color by using the selection which is the color picker and after that going to the filter blur and motion blur and make it convert to smart object or restylize okay making the motion blur like this 90 degree or you can make it zero degree that's fine and hit okay okay now opposite a little bit down it will make more sense and now write down the author name like uh, you can buy a summary the author name will be anything or any one okay fine now time to give the font size according to the title so i'll use the golden ratio by pressing or by using the 1.6 divided by so 38 divided if i give the divided by uh, 1.6 it will make the golden ratio properly 1.6 divided by 1.6 this one is the technique and you can make again by divided by 1.6 it will be properly golden ratio maintained that means two step down from the main title 1.6 divided by okay that's fine and now i'll make it in a middle by pressing shift and hold it and now press ctrl or command j or you can press alter option button and i'll write down the subtitle and make it middle okay that's fine deselect and save it out and save this uh, book cover in your directory so select all the stuffs and going to the color lookup and you can use the foggy nights and make the uh, opposite it down and it will apply or it should apply in a, in a downside of the text just because of i want to use the levels like this it will make more sense to feel like that and the gradient i'll make the gradient color a little bit warm like yellow or orange type now this is properly like this and hit ok and now i'll save this one and uh, the right side and left side you can uh, use the more colorful like this so i'll go to the filter and camera filter now i'll make the uh, color or the selective color which is color mixing and luminance and saturation i'll make it up and hit ok so you are getting the like that now color lookup and other stuffs a uh, little bit down which is 66 uh, percent is good for that now the book cover is good to me and before and after and saving this one and going to save and file the save as options now i'll make another copy which is the jpeg version and save it out and hit the ok button okay now time to mock up i download the mock up from fibic.com and i'll provide you that mock-up download link in every description so here uh, you'll get the smart object for making the mock-up here the spine and cover two things double press in a smart object uh, portion and you are getting the new window and now i'll place the design over here so going to the file and place embedded options now which one the jpeg and place it out and make it fit by pressing shift and hold it otherwise it will be stretched out and uh, this is not good for the photo 
and make it fit with the cover that's good and press ctrl t or command t make it fit and save it out by pressing ctrl command s and you are getting the uh, output like that and the spine how to make this spine double click and now i'll get the all steps over here from the design panel deleting all the layers that's great and now again i'm going to the file and place embedded options from here i'll import that and making it fit with the like uh, here the spine artboard and making it more bigger it will help me out to place the write up over here so from here uh, from the main design i'll take the title subtitle and the author name and uh, after that i'll just taking that things by pressing the dragging or group this one it will help you out to drag and drop over here press ctrl or command t and now rotate it out press the shift and hold it and just place your write up into the spine and then these things the this element you should be more uh, properly placed in over here please shift and hold it and making it a little bit smaller like this uh, it could be over here or it could be the upper side uh, which one is the preferred things the classic thing is that it should be in upper side or you can make it in a downside it's good and now the author name that's good and then hit okay so these two things up and down and hit okay i'll make it in upper side that's good and take the author name in a downside that's good and you can use the logo which is the publisher's logo uh, it could be the penguin or whatever press shift and hold it otherwise it will stretch and just place over and save it out hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section and if you want to get the download link of the stock photo in the font please check out my video description and until the next video i may say signing out today stay safe stay at home and bye bye